Hello everybody, welcome back! WandaVision continues to amaze us with unexpected twists and new mysteries. Today, we'd like to talk about the interesting details and easter eggs you might have missed while watching the sixth episode, titled All New Halloween Spooktacular. The intro of the latest episode is an homage to one of the 21st century sitcoms, Malcolm in the Middle. It includes high-energy music, funny freeze frames, and fourth-wall breakage caused by Billy's and Tommy's remarks. After such a dynamic introduction, we immediately see the main surprise of a previous episode. Of course, we're talking about recast Pietro Maximoff, played by Evan Peters. Long lost bro get to squeeze his stinking sister to death or what? Unfortunately, the new episode still hasn't explained how Quicksilver from the X-Men franchise has managed to get into the MCU. I know I look different. Why do you look different? Also, some fan theories suppose that Resurgent Pietro is none other than Mephisto. In addition, one of the opening scenes shows us the main characters wearing the classic costumes from Marvel Comics. Wanda and Pietro also recollect Halloween during their childhood. This weird flashback shows us the little twins dressed up as Black Widow and Nick Fury. After a short conversation, Wanda decides to go trick-or-treating with her brother and kids while Vision pretends to help the neighborhood watch. Meanwhile, we can see that the S.W.O.R.D. team is outside Westview. Hatward tells Monica that they need to kill Wanda. Maximoff was never going to negotiate with us. We take her out, this whole nightmare ends. And Rambeau admits that no one knows what will happen to the mind-controlled people in case their captor dies. After it, Hatward decides to dismiss Monica, Jimmy, and Darcy. Luckily, the virtuous trio manages to escape after beating up their captors. They hide inside the S.W.O.R.D.'s complex, and Monica says she wants to get back into the Hex. However, Darcy finds her blood work, Hayward has your blood work and admits that staying in Westview has already remapped the woman at a cellular level. But still, Monica decides to return and help Wanda. Together with Jimmy, she leaves the complex, while Darcy stays to hack S.W.O.R.D.'s computers. Soon, she finds a strange document called Cataract. Plus, when Darcy scrolls the folders, we can notice a file called Project C4-113, which may be a reference to Avengers issue number 113. It features Wanda and Vision on the cover. The Scarlet Witch also says that she is going to make the world pay for the death of her loved one. Now, let's get back in the town. We see Wanda and her brother wandering the streets. Finally, Westview is full of children who have never appeared in the show before. Wanda starts asking Pietro questions about their childhood. Her brother realizes that he looks different, but he can't explain what has happened. Also, when Tommy refers to Pietro as kick-ass, Wanda repeats these words. Yeah, kick-ass. I feel the need. Kick-ass. It may be a nod to the namesake movie, which starred both Aaron Taylor Johnson and Evan Peters. Now it's time for commercial video. The sixth episode has provided us with a weird advertisement for Yo Magic Yogurt, which may be a reference to Scarlet Witch's mutant gene origin and traumatic deaths from Wanda's past. Meanwhile, Pietro, Wanda, and the twins walk past the movie theater. We can notice that the cinema is showing The Incredibles and The Parent Trap, which puts the timeline of this episode either in 1998 or 2004. This time, Pietro says that he has appeared in the show due to Wanda's wish. I mean, that's what you wanted, isn't it? And when his sister asks what has happened to his Sokovian accent, he just answers, what, what happened to yours? To yours? Suddenly, the kids return to their mother, and we can see that Tommy now has super speed ability. Chip off the old Maximoff block! You got super speed! I do? Yeah! <laughs> the twins ask Wanda to go get more candies. She gives her permission, but doesn't allow them to go past Ellis Avenue, which is one of the Westview's borders. During the Town Square scare scene, Pietro says that he hasn't seen any children before. Where were you hiding all these kids up till now? What? He supposes that Wanda has kept them sleeping safely in their homes up until Halloween. After it, P 
Pietro asks Wanda how she has created the hex, but she doesn't remember. I don't know how I did it. As soon as Wanda turns to look at her brother, she sees that he is dead and has bullet holes through his body. Nonetheless, it turns out to be one of the glitches we've already seen in the show. Whoa. And what about Vision? He has finally decided to figure out what's going on in Westview. Vision starts walking to the edge of the town, where people seem to be stuck in a loop, in which they can only perform simple actions over and over. We can see a lady who pretends to hang Halloween decorations, and Agnes, who has forgotten how to get back to the center of her native town. As soon as Vision zaps her out of the stupor, Agnes says that he is dead. 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 Also, we've discovered that Vision knows nothing about the Avengers. But what's an Avenger? What? Finally, when he tries to leave Westview, a strange force of the barrier starts ripping his body apart. Fortunately, Wanda realizes the danger due to her son Billy, who has also developed the magical ability that his mother has. Pietro makes a joke about Wanda's dead husband dying again, but she just throws him away using her powers. After it, Wanda starts expanding the hex, which saves Vision and envelops Darcy and several sword agents. At this epic point, the sixth episode comes to an end. And what do you think about the sixth episode of this mind-blowing show? Please share your thoughts with us in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give us a like, comment, and subscribe.